Biological records have numerous uses, and many of them involve helping wildlife conservation. Records not only give information about the conservation status of a specific species, but such information can be combined with other records to illustrate what's going on in the wider environment at a local, national and international scale. At a local level, Biological records showing the presence or absence of protected species can influence local developments, planning permission and other construction work. Records of protected species like great crested newts or rare orchids might result in the denial of planning permission, the development being modified so as not to destroy precious habitat or companies carrying out mitigation creating new habitat to offset the loss caused by their work. Biological records have greater value when they are combined with other records of the same or similar species from across a wide area and over a period of time. These huge datasets allow scientists to monitor or estimate population trends over time, often in response to threats such as climate change and habitat fragmentation. The State of Nature report, published in 2013 and updated most recently in 2019, drew together a colossal number of records from numerous conservation organisations. The report provided a status update on the UK's biodiversity and it was bad news, with large declines detected across multiple species. Despite these dire warnings, the State of Nature report points the way towards future conservation work to help offset these declines. It's worth noting that biological records don't have to be about rare creatures. It's just as important to record common species because they might not be so common in the future. For example, both house sparrows and starlings, long considered the most common of garden visitors, have undergone dramatic declines in recent years. Detecting these declines is the first step towards helping the species recover. Finally, not all creatures recorded are welcome additions to the environment. Invasive, non-native species pose a major threat to biodiversity. Biological records can help researchers track any potential arrivals of invasive species. This will serve as an early warning system and then allow conservationists to leap into action and prevent future negative impacts on the environment. This has been a brief introduction to biological records and their importance. Now it might seem a far stretch between spotting a bee in your local park and saving the UK's biodiversity, but all biological records combine to form a bigger picture. The clearer that picture is, the more chance we have of a brighter, biodiversity-rich future. In our next video, we look at how to submit a biological record and where it should be sent. Thanks for watching.